Thank you, Madam President. We have all watched what has happened with the Iran strike this weekend, and my colleagues across the aisle like to say that they support Israel, but in this moment of peril for the world's only Jewish state, I fear that what they're doing is deciding to play politics. And in the months after the October 7th attack, they insisted on tying aid for Israel to supplemental packages that do not have the votes to pass through both chambers. Now, Republicans have been very clear. Any supplemental bill that fails to address the security crisis at our southern border is a non-starter. We already have a solution to President Biden's border crisis. It is H.R. 2, the Secure the Border Act. But for almost a year, and bear in mind, that border security bill landed over here May of last year. So it's been almost a year. And our colleagues, the Democrats, who are in charge, have refused to bring that up for a vote. Now, Democrats voted to table different measures that came along. My colleague from Kansas is going to have one in a few minutes, and they're going to vote to table that also, and they're going to object. And they are doing this at a time when legislation we bring forward would provide billions in aid for Israel as it fights to destroy Hamas and bring some innocent hostages, including Americans, home. Now, the reason the bill, and this is their reason, they say the bill would pay for itself, my colleague's bill that he's going to bring forward, because it would use the army, the, it would use the funding for Biden's army of 87,000 IRS agents. They say they don't like that. And Democrats would rather hound small businesses on Main Street, which we know most of those would be if targeted toward, than deliver aid that is necessary for our closest ally in the Middle East. Now think about what they're saying when they say this. They would rather keep that, those IRS agents, than to give this aid. They would rather tie aid to Ukraine. They would rather tie it to Taiwan. They don't want it to stand alone. And so for months, they have delayed. And now, after these months of delay, Iran, for the first time ever, directly attacked Israel from Iranian territory. It launched 170 drones, 30 cruise missiles, and 120 ballistic missiles toward the Jewish state. This was the largest aerial attack ever carried out in the Middle East. So, if Democrats are objecting to everything that would in any way tie up aid to Israel, then Let's look at it another way, because this issue is too important for any more delays. That's why I'm calling for unanimous consent for S-3168, the Israel Supplemental Appropriations Act. This bill is nearly identical to legislation that passed the House and would provide $17.6 billion in aid to our cherished ally, including $4 billion to replenish the Iron Dome, $1.3 billion to help Israel counter mortar attacks, $3.3 billion to support U.S. military operations in the region. But my bill does not make any cuts at all to Joe Biden's army of IRS agents. It doesn't make any cuts to the budget. It doesn't have any offsets. My legislation very simply says they need this aid. Let's send this aid. Let's make certain Israel has what they need to protect themselves. The world's 
only Jewish state is in a fight for its survival. Time and time again, Iran and its proxies have, vi have vowed they would annihilate Israel. We have heard them say death to Iran, death to Israel, death to the U.S. Iran funds these proxies. So let's give Israel what they need to defend themselves. Let's do it unencumbered, no offsets. Let's all stand together, and I would ask my Democratic colleagues, how much longer do you think Israel can wait? Let's push this forward, and let's allow Israel to have the funding they need to protect themselves without ties to anything else.